Hammersmith was commissioned in 1930 by the BBC Military Band and is Gustav Holst's last work for wind band and the only band work of his composed for professional musicians. Holst's previous pieces for band include his first suite in E-flat and second suite in F, which were composed for amateur musicians. Although the piece was commissioned by the BBC Military Band, they never premiered the work. This is possibly due to the more experimental nature of the work, as the composer was well into his late period, and the piece he produced for the BBC Band was not at all like his other band suites which were quite successful in the 20s, as well as his brass band piece, A Moorside Suite. But the piece did finally receive its premiere two years later, on April 17, 1932, by the United States Marine Band under the baton of Captain Taylor Branson at the American Bandmasters Association National Conference in Washington, D.C. The piece seemingly vanished into oblivion, receiving no performances for over two decades until it was revived in 1954 by Richard Cantrick, who led a performance of the work with his ensemble at Carnegie Institute of Technology, now Carnegie Mellon University, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 1931, after the work went unperformed, Holst had done an orchestral transcription of the work, which was published by Boosie and Hawks but the original band version of Hammersmith existed only in manuscript with no public knowledge that a band version had preceded it. After Cantrick's performances of the piece, Boosie and Hawks finally published the original work with the help of the composer's daughter and biographer, Imogen Holst. Hammersmith is subtitled Prelude and Scherzo, but some refer to the work as a tone poem. The work is episodic in nature, opening with an adagio section that uses a repeated bass line in F minor with a lyrical melody in E major. The second section, marked poco vivace, is fugal in nature, using canonic imitation beginning with a single voice presenting a new theme which makes use of fourths and fifths as the most prominent intervals. As the fugato continues, Hulse begins peppering in a new theme which is primarily thirds outlining triads and also a jaunty 6-8 theme against the 2-4 meter. Hulse continues to develop all the thematic materials in the scherzo section until the music stops and the 6-8 theme is heard in a slower 3-4 section. After that, a new theme is heard in the solo B-flat clarinet. Other voices are added one at a time, starting with the flute, then oboe and tenor sax. The brass then play a harmonized version of this tune before returning to the poco vivace tempo, recapitulating the fugal section and themes, now with more variation. The final section returns to the initial adagio tempo, and the repeated bass line is now heard with the other themes heard in the solo woodwind voices sprinkled on top. The E major melody is heard one final time before the work slowly and quietly recedes.
Thank mm-hmm. you.